that vault was poison. The scumfax who ran it released a psychoactive drug into the vault through the vent system. Most of the residents went insane and killed each other. Some were immune, but as far as I can tell, none of them made it. They all just slowly went crazy and died. I found notes all over the place by people worried about the state of things who hadn't gone insane yet. People slowly going insane, all already gone, even just people holding out against the insane ones. To make it worse, it seems like a bunch of wastelanders or raiders or a combination of both maybe got into the vault and were affected. They were a bunch of psychos that kept coming at me out of nowhere as I explored the place. At first, I thought they were survivors of the event that killed everyone else because they were wearing vault jumpsuits too. Taking a look though, none of them were pit boys, which I found on a few corpses and they had wasteland weapons. Combat knives and swords particularly, Chinese swords. I took one to check it, definitely Chinese. There was the wasteland standard of leather or metal armor to be found in the lockers too. I figure they got into the vault, took to wearing the jumpsuits because they were cleaner than the usual wasteland apparel, put away their armor and got comfortable, stayed too long here and the drugs in the air got to them. Good thing that they slow acting enough that I was out there before I went mad too. Though I have some hallucinations in there, I don't really wanna talk about them. Just know that they were unpleasant. I wish I could have found a way to shut down the vents that were dispersing the hallucinogens and stayed the night in the vault. Decade and ruined though it may have been, it still reminded me of home, in a way that my vault imitating shark back in Megaton cannot truly achieve. It wasn't all bad though, I still managed to collect some interesting things there. More Nikola Tesla and Tumble Brooks for the collection, another mini nuke to slow me down until I find something to fire it with. And best of all, I found a new bubblehead. This one was exploiting the virtues of science. I can appreciate that. I consider myself a scientist, in a way. I used to be the pip boy programmer back in 101. It was my own choice. I was originally slated by the GOAT to be a clinical test subject with basically men being experimented on by dead. I was all for working with dead in the clinic, but I wanted a job like Jonas, assisting in the actual doctor work, because that's what dead trained me for. No such luck though, my medical experience was rendered useless, and I put my computer programming skills to work instead. I was always something of an intellectual. Surprised I find myself outclassing most of the actual experienced fighters out here in the wastes. I really wasn't a fighter, outside of occasional scraps with Butch, when he picked on Amata. Maybe I'm just real lucky? Who cares? Point is, Vault 106 is fucked, and I couldn't have stayed there. I killed everyone in the vault, looted what I could, and searched for an explanation of why my vision was going blue and I was seeing apparitions. Once I had done all that, I ran outside and headed east. I stopped by the ruins of a pre-war bed and breakfast place. At least that's what my pip boy map called it. And what I marked it as. It was being inhabited by the time by raiders. I killed them. One had a rather nice assault rifle, which I now carrying along with me. I have too many weapons and not enough reasons to use most of them. The laser weapons, for example, are just less effective version of the plasma ones. I think I'll sell most of these when I return to Megaton. Good thing I've since taken to carry a backpack with me. Well, I was hoping then that I could have found an intact building to sleep in, but it was half destroyed and exposed to the elements and it would have started raining radioactive water down on me at any time. So I begrudgingly went back to Vault 106 and slept in the cave entrance just by the side of the wooden door. 
I didn't fall asleep until maybe four in the morning because oh. that all disturbed me so much. That oh. was yesterday. Today I woke up at two in the afternoon and intended to continue my journey to Arefu, and I did. After I returned to the dead and breakfast and found new raiders there fighting a brotherhood outcast patrol that is. One of the raiders had a flamethrower and the outcasts were followed by a robot. I wish I could have taken those plus the power armor, but I was already weighted down with too much crap. I left it there, sadly. Well, I'm in Arefu right now. I eventually reached the place and found that they were having problems with a local gang that have been harassing them just as advertised. I found dead Brahmin on my way in and a fellow named Evan King nearly killed me as well, mistaking me for one of the members of this so-called family. He explained the situation and asked me to go check on the other Hang residents on, as he didn't have time to. One of them was Get a bit crazy. Most were just annoyed. But the West family who I was supposed to deliver the letter to, dead. Now what the hell or at least the parents the are. One guy called Ian is missing. Apparently Lucy West brother. He may have been taken by the family. I inspected the corpses while I was in the home and found bite marks on the neck with no significant blood loss, strangely. No idea that had bit them though. Logical deduction is that the family either have dogs or have some sing motherfuckers in their game. I'll ask them when I come across them next. Tonight though, I'm staying here in Arefu. I need a day to recover after the vault and it was already late afternoon when I arrived. My sleeping pattern has been thrown off though and old Evan King can't watch the runway up to the village 24-7. He's watching the rest of the day, and in a few hours I'll take over watch duties for him, and he can get some sleep. In exchange, I get to stay in the West House for now, which is where I currently am. And when he returns to his ship, I'll sleep in here for a while. He's agreed to wake me at midday, and then I'll set out to hunt the family for him. If I don't find them, I'll return here tomorrow afternoon and will repeat the process ad nauseum until I find these guys. I'm filling in this journal as I wait for my shift. After this I'm going to go through all the books I've collected since Judy Street Metro for the rest of my wait. That will kill some time. As a final note, I decided not to do the thing where I fill in this as the day goes by like I tried yesterday. It padded out my entry unnecessarily and I don't like writing this. And because I had already filled in throughout the day, I didn't feel the need to add in the adventure in the vault when I did the last part yesterday, which just forced me to write it all down today. So no, none of that. I'll stick with my usual this is how my day went formula from now on.